Hi guys, welcome to the second part of NT Pond Lab 200. I'm just going to carry on with the tests. I've done the first few tests. Now, um, these ones now, we're back now to... Uh, let's have a look which one to do next. That one takes 10 minutes and that one takes 10 minutes. So we'll leave those two till last. Uh, nitrites, we can do the nitrite which takes two minutes. Like I say, I pre-shook all these so that it uh, it spe speeded up a little bit because it was uh, the video took too long the other day, so. Right, it says five drops of this into that tube, give it a shake, leave it two minutes. So here we go. One, two, three, Four, five. There we go, guys. Five. You don't have to shake it vigorously, just give it a little flick around like that. Now, we've got to watch that for two minutes, obviously. So, it's not a problem. Right, next one is general hardness. Let's have a look at that one. That's two drops out of A. Two. It says give that a little bit of a shake round. Should turn purple. Just turn purple. There you go. Right. Now it says take B. Put one drop in. Give it a little bit of a shake. Give that a little shake there. Second one. And it says put two drops in. There we go. One, two. Right. And it's still uh, raspberry flavour, colour in look. And now we've got a count there. Look, it says one drop equals one percent. We're after a eight percent DH. So, to me, that's eight drops. But obviously, you do them one at a time. Until it turns blue. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Starting to go, guys. Starting to go. Eight. See, it's still a little bit pink in the bottom. If it doesn't go, it means I've got to put another one in. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. So that one's spot on. General hardness. Pretty decent. So, like I say, tip them away. You remember where you are. You remember what you've done. Wash them out next time. Put that one there. You don't want to be knocking these over and them running out because, uh, like I say, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap. So, guys, this one, we come back to this one. I've timed it. It's done two minutes. This is your nitrite. So, it's saying, if it's white, it's zero. Brilliant. 0 0.25. Slightly but hardly anything to worry about. As I said, I'm going to do a partial water change. I do a test twice a week. I do a partial water change twice a week. If it was really bad, I might do 25% uh, partial water change, maybe even 30%. They do say up to 50, but uh, I've never had a bad enough reading that I've had to do 50. Right, guys. These are the last two now. These take 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do... Let me give you a quick look at the pond because I intend stopping and doing another video because it takes 10 minutes once the test has been done. So, sorry about the clouds on the sky. From the sky on the pool, there you go. There's my fish. That baby there is, like I said before, baby blue. 
beautiful fish. Four foot pounder. And like I said, it just proved it to you. Clear water doesn't mean good water because I've just uh, had a reading on the nitrate that says it's slightly uh, elevated. So, you know, there is a good reason, an argument to test your water regular, make sure it's good, make sure your fish are healthy. Like I said before, we're all in it for the the love of the koi, we like to watch them. It's the enjoyment when you're sitting there, summer's evening, beer in your hand, barbecue going, watching your fish swimming around, throwing them a little bit of food, coming up to the top of the water, saying hello to you. That's what it's all about. And obviously, as I said before on my other video, you had a choice between living in the countryside and breathing lovely fresh air or living in the city and choking on all the smog and all the crap that comes from the engines I'd say 99% of most people would say they'd live in the countryside not for entertainment but for fresh air and it's exactly the same with your fish they need the best water you can give them The better the water, the happier the fish. So guys, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to cut this one short. And then I'm going to come back for the third and final part. It takes ten minutes, unfortunately, and you'll see why. And um, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.